Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle. But in today's video I'm going to give you guys 10 tips on how to find your fashion inspiration. So I have 10 tips, I'm going to jump right into it, they're super simple and I think you'll actually enjoy them and I think it will help you. So I am looking at some stuff, some notes that I took for you guys and I don't want to miss anything so I'm just going to be scrolling through my laptop here. So. Tip number one is going to be Google. Google is your best friend. Um, I've been using Google for probably since Google came out. And how I started using it was from being from New York City, if I saw someone with something on and I wasn't too sure of the brand or whatever, I would literally just Google, let's just say it was like a blush color pink I don't know leather or something like that right that's exactly what I will google in now we have SEO we have all these other things uh in 2021 so it's a lot easier we have apps that actually you know kind of tell you where to get certain things from we have Pinterest we have all these things but Google is your best friend so if you want to try it out let's just say you want to let's just say style white sneakers put in your Google search how to style white sneakers uh, how to dress up white sneakers how to dress how to wear a dress with white sneakers things like that so that's tip number one Google is your best friend and that's just for everything Google so tip number two would be to follow fashion blogs now, I know nowadays a lot of people do have a lot of lifestyle blogs, which are still really cool too, because my blog, I'm trying to gear towards fashion for tall women, but I, I'm finding that I'm I'm doing other stuff too. So it's probably going to be geared towards a lifestyle blog, but still helping tall women because I am tall. But also, there are blogs out here that cater specifically to like fashion shows um new york fashion week like all those things so find f fashion blogs that you like follow them follow them on social media all that other good stuff right so that's tip number two but actually i can give you a list that i actually like to follow and you know read their articles and stuff so i have vogue is one um they still have magazines so you can still buy magazines L, you have the Zoe Report, you have Pop Sugar, you have Who, What, Where, which is very popular nowadays. Uh, we have Fashion Bomb Daily, that's another popular one. So the list goes on and on and on. So check that out, follow fashion blogs, and even follow them on social media too. Uh, which brings me into number three, social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, not even, I guess Snapchat, <laughs> I don't use Snapchat. TikTok, all these things. Um, Instagram is one of those places where I feel like it's like a little magazine. Your own personal magazine. So, I recently cleaned up my social media because I didn't want to see certain things like from certain like... I like... I love hip-hop now. <laughs> but I didn't want to see certain like... Certain things on my page. I wanted to open up my feed and see fashion. Fashion and... My other favorite thing would be like things on manifestation so those are my two favorite things that I usually see and I don't know all of a sudden I started seeing like baby stuff <laughs> which I probably started following on a page because it's so cute but fashion and manifestation for me is what I see when I open up my page period um, if I did not do that then I'll be bombarded with things that's not gonna really help me in what I'm trying to do so that's tip number three social media follow brands and, and models and stuff that you actually like uh, tip number four would be Pinterest. Now, I am just getting into Pinterest. I'm still not 100% really comfortable with certain things yet, so I'm still really trying to get my page really going over there. But I do follow some people that I really, really love their Pinterest um, accounts. So for me, it would be fashion again. It would be inspiration from whoever it can it, and at this point I'm not even really thinking about height 
I am more so just like, okay, what looks good? What do I like? What 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 colors do I like? I'm just gonna look look that up on Pinterest and save it to a board for myself. So you guys look at Pinterest, and if you have any tips on maneuvering through Pinterest, let me know, cause I'm I'm getting old and I feel like I'm I'm out of touch with it. <laughs> so that's tip number four. Number five would be YouTube. <laughs> so there are a million and one fashion YouTubers out here. I'm not I'm not gonna say that they're all tall, cause they're not. Majority of them are probably average height women. Not to say that we can't get uh, inspiration from them because we can. So depending on what you like, I think YouTube is a really great place because you can visually see these things. The same thing like Instagram, you can see it. A lot of people are not really good with just like telling them what to do. They actually have to see a person do it and I'm that person. Let me see it. I can visualize it. I can visualize some things, but sometimes I need to I need to I need to have a vision in my head and say, okay, this is it. But I then I have to actually see it. So even if I visualize something in here that I think that would look nice, I still have to piece it together somehow in, in here in my closet or in my dressing room in order for me to actually really put it together. So that's tip number, tip number five, YouTube. YouTube is our best friend, because we're here, guys, we're here. So, and then again, you can you can subscribe to any channel that you like, uh, you know, with women and men. Because I, I see a lot of men on YouTube that I personally think they dress really nice for men. I don't think men have to do a lot, in my opinion. I think that they can, for me, a man looks really good when he is, simple okay I don't he doesn't need to have a bunch of stuff going on like leather shirts and stuff no I think a man with a nice physique will look great in pretty much about anything and I don't think he has to go really extra hard on certain things so again that's number five that's YouTube number six is magazines I still buy magazines guys I really do I do <laughs> And I like them, you know, I, 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 you know, sometimes I'm sitting on my, down, you know, at my desk and just kind of reason through the pages. Sometimes I don't want to look at the internet and, you know, have all of that in my face. So what I'll do is I'll just buy some magazines and then sometimes I'll cut them out and just keep some of the photos and stuff. Actually, can you guys see? I'll probably zoom into this little thing over here so you guys can see my little fashion board but um yeah you can cut it out you can make like little collages for yourself you can make um you know you can do anything with magazines but it is also good to just like see them out there i think i i don't think i did a video on this but i bought this book from what did i buy from home goods and this book had all black women models listen this book is gorgeous it's so nice and I didn't even realize how many black models there were. And just to have them all in one place, it was something that I needed as a black woman. I think it was an amazing job, whoever put that book together. And they're from all shades. So I love it. So again, magazines are another option on finding your fashion inspiration. Number seven would be old movies. Now, depending on what you like and what you what your style is, you can look at old movies with anybody in it. So you can, if you like, let's say, Diane Carroll, right? She's older. Some women like her style and they put a little spin on it now in 2021. So, you know, for black women, if that's what you like, you like to only look at, you know, other black women, then, you know, she's a great person to look at, to use. Um, and if you don't care about color, then you just find an old movie that you like, but the women were very feminine and they were just a certain way and kind of pull from that. And I think in 2021, you could actually make that into your own style. So that's another place to get some fashion inspiration from. So that's tip number seven. Number eight would be, as I stated, create a fashion board. Creating a fashion board is like a vision board. So if you want to look a certain way, if you want to start to dress a certain way, if you you know, if you know, haven't quite got there yet, um, I say create a fashion board. 
put things on this board that you would like to see that you would like to manifest into your life and you know it's not all about the way you look because i am a firm believer of energy 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 so you have to feel good inside first but creating a fashion vision board is a great way to kind of visually see what you like to see on others and yourself so you can start pulling from that you know that when you start shopping or when you are shopping you can pick up little things that you like from your fashion board so get some magazines because it's on the list <laughs> after you finish looking through them cut them up go to Hobby Lobby stick them on a little board and just put them where you can see them make it to where you enjoy looking at this every day in my dressing room I have pictures of Diana Ross I have pictures of Naomi Campbell and I chose them because that's what I wanted to see when I'm getting dressed Diana Ross has amazing pictures and I'm gonna zoom I hope I don't forget to zoom all over these things Diana Ross has amazing pictures you know back in the day beautiful feminine photos of herself so that's what I wanted in here I'm gonna add some more because I have extra space in here but that's what I'm gonna do in my closet and that's who I like to see she's a beautiful woman and still is to this day so again that is create a fashion vision board that's number eight and number nine would be travel outside of the US all right so when I say travel I'm saying traveling because you're able to see so many different styles of how women dress you got the women in France you have Brazil you have Spain you have Sweden you have all you have <laughs> there's so many places that women dress a certain way some are a little bit more modest and some are not so if you travel more then you can kind of pick up these things from other um, countries now if you don't want to travel again you go back to Google baby <laughs> go back to Google and you can Google the dress style of the women in Brazil or, or Japan or France wherever and kind of go from there and the last tip and the best tip is to just be creative be creative with everything that's on this list and make it your own do not let anyone tell you that your style is not up to par because trends now are just so in your face that it's kind of hard to kind of get away from them so for me I would say just just create your own create your own pull from other things and be comfortable with what you're wearing that's it just be comfortable embrace it and enjoy it guys so that is it for this video guys if you like videos like this please comment below if you stay to the end of this video please comment Coco we see you and don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one and guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco underscore styles underscore NY and I will see you guys in the next one bye